The recent surge of migrants trying to cross from Juarez to the U.S. has brought some impacts to both sides of the border. Officials in Juarez know this will not change in the near future. ABC 7's Juarez correspondent Ediberto Perez has the story. Migrants arriving to Juarez recently are not staying in the city for a long time. Some of them spent two or three days before making their way to the U.S. Los albergues no están saturados porque están como que llegando y probablemente tengan algún tipo de cita, no lo sé. Juárez Mayor Cruz Pérez Cuellar no said, right la... now, shelters in Juárez are not at overcapacity for the amount of migrants leaving them to go to the U.S. Due to the spike in migrant numbers on our border, residents have experienced more wait times at ports of entry, along cargo transportation, which has been sent to the Isleta, Santa Teresa, and Tornillo ports of entry. Some drivers have said this situation impacts their family and work life. Transportation leaders in Mexico now ask U.S. authorities to move officials around to process migrants and not affect business on the border. But with this situation, officials in Juarez think it will not be stopped because of our border's reality. Sería estar fuera de la realidad, de una realidad histórica, geográfica, inclusive, de la ciudad. Mayor Perez Cuellar said he Yo thinks sí. that Juarez or El Paso will not stop having migration soon because he will be outside of a reality of a historical and geographical reality of the area. Reporting from the U.S.-Mexico border, Heriberto Perez, ABC7. And Mayor Perez Cuellar also said he thinks Juarez should be in a crisis now, but migrants leaving the city and U.S. authorities processing them every day has brought some relief to Juarez. They still want to be prepared, though, for the unknown.